Hey, this is Val Love. So I wanted to have a really heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you about my path as a Christian witch. So as you know, I have uh, come clean, come out the broom closet as a Christian witch, and I talk about it a lot here on YouTube. And I wanted to share this with you, uh, a story. One day, I was walking a story from my journey. And one day I was walking and my life had been 26 years as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And if you listen to some of my YouTube videos, you know the, the story, you know about that, you know about my path and you know about the 26 years that I spent as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And you know that probably it was not my choice to be a witch I don't, on a conscious level. Now on a soul level, yes. And on a on the divine path, we're called to be authentic, to really get clean and clear about who we are, why we're here, what we're here to do, and how we're going to present. And how you present is the authentic self. And that has been, <clears throat> excuse me, just a tremendous uh, path, a tremendous journey for me is presenting the authentic self and without fear. Because I had tremendous fear about being magical, about being a witch, about being think, thought of as different, about being abandoned, about being kicked out, about not being accepted, about being rejected, blah, 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 blah. You know, all the stuff that comes up. So one day I was out on a walk. This was years after I had come out of being one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Years after I had come out of being one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and I was walking, I was walking, I was walking, I was feeling free, I was feeling happy, I was looking up at the sky, and I was thanking God, and I said, Thank you, God. I still remember the prayer, I still remember the conversation I was having with the divine, not out loud, within myself. Thank you, God, that I got out of the box. I was so happy to be free of the box, because as you can see, I'm unhinged, I'm like totally out of the box. <laughs> so, out the box. And it felt good to be free. And I was saying in the prayer, wow, so happy to be out the box. And I could even see that lid opening and me hopping out and it, how many years it took to come out of the box and how many people have stood at the edge of the box while I was cowering in the box, coaxing me. We bid you come out the box. And it was terrifying at some point absolutely terrifying. I don't know if I'm talking your language, if you can even understand words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> this is, was terrifying from the standpoint of a person with abandonment issues already and, and mistrust issues and in prior lifetimes being burned at the stake as a witch, which I clearly remember. Once being beheaded as a witch, which I remember. And another time as a magician, I came in and I got uh, got killed doing um, battle with a demon. When you have those kinds of memories that have come from past lives to the conscious awareness because of the work that you do and because of the work that I do, it doesn't bid well for wanting to live that kind of life again. <laughs> Hello. So this has really been a challenge for me, a challenge for me. So I'm talking to you from my heart to your heart, I pray. So as I was walking <clears throat> and talking with God about, oh, thank God, I'm out the box. God, I thank you. I thank you that I'm out of the box, that you, you brought me out the box. And, and I was so glad to be free of the box. And at the same time, I also had some judgment on the box. When the voice said to me, the voice, said to me, before I tell you what the voice said, let me tell you the rest of the prayer. And I said, and I just, you know, pray that everybody come out the box and, and you know, we don't need the box and we just throw away the box. And that, that's where the prayer was going. And I heard the voice say, some people need the box. Some people need the box. And I was stunned. I almost stopped where I was. I was walking. I almost stopped in my tracks when I heard that. Like from the divine, why would anybody need a box? I didn't, I, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. And here's what it means. 
let's go to the matrix because I love movies and I love the symbology of movies, the meaning of movies, the metaphysical interpretation of movies and, and the illustrative way movies convey ideas to the mind and wake up aspects of consciousness. Let's go to the matrix. In the matrix, Morpheus said about Neo that it was late when we got him out of the matrix and we usually don't do that. We usually don't free a mind after a certain time because if you do, it's even dangerous to that mind. Can you imagine? You can't take an older mind out of the matrix because if you really did take that older mind out of the matrix and brought it to reality, it was just probably self-destruct. You couldn't handle it because it's been in the matrix too long. And that's what Morpheus was saying is that we don't usually even free people that are your age, but we think you're the one. Matter of fact, I know you're the one. And that's why they got Neo out, even though he was past the age. And Neo was young when they got him out of the matrix. So can you imagine? So the reason I say that is because right now, there could be people in your life. If you're a magical person, look at me and, and really understand what I am saying or the message that's being conveyed here. If you're a magical person, let's say you're a witch or let's say that you have a path that you want to walk the path of Yoruba or Santeria or you want to be uh, engaged in Wicca or you want to join a an organization like Golden Dawn, and you really want to pursue that path, or you want to pursue any path that's unlike the path that your clan was in and that you were in with your clan. Now, I'm specifically speaking to people who are Christians because that was my flow and that was my clan. So I was in the Christian experience and I ain't giving up Jesus for nobody. I love him. That's my dude. <laughs> That is my dude. I love him. I love Jesus. So there is no way I am giving up the Christ walk. There's just no way. And so it was for me to find a way to integrate the Christ path, the Christ way of being with the magical way of being. That is how I came to the resolution within myself of being a Christian witch. It fits for me. It works for me. It's perfect for me. And I don't care if there are 7 billion people on this planet. I would not care if 6,999,999,999 said you can't be a Christian witch. I would not care. Look at me. I would not give a rat's tail. You know why? Because I know who I am. You have to know who you are and you are as God created you and God doesn't make mistakes God knows what God's doing hello in all the ways that God makes people individuals beings of light God knows what God's doing with everyone God makes some to be shamans God makes some to be witches God makes God makes some to be priests God makes some to be um kings God makes some to be queens God makes some to be um uh, gurus. God makes some to be monks. God makes some to be nuns. God is always creating according to God's good pleasure. So it's all kinds of people in this world, all kinds, according to God's good pleasure, not a duplicate in the bunch. Seven billion, more than that, people on the planet, not a duplicate in the bunch. How does that happen? Only God and the law of God and the love of God. How God operates through love and law. So when I heard some people need the box, I was astounded. I was stunned. And this is what it means. If a person is living in some kind of box, let's say religious dogma, let's say creed, let's say fear, whatever the box is. For me, the box was religious dogma. For you, it could be whatever it is. If the person is living in some kind of box, for a time, you need that box. I needed that box for the time that I was in that box. And when I no longer needed the box, the box was gone. I was done with the box. And, and then it disintegrated. It was like a box being out in the, in the rain and it rained on it and it wasted away. And next thing you know, somebody swept it up and it was, it was done. It was done. I didn't need the box anymore. However, there are people who do need the box. So let's not disparage them and let's not hate on them and let's not judge them. You're in a box for the time that you need to be in your box. 
And one day, when you no longer need that box, you will exit it and it will be done. It will be done. And that's all I have to say about that. The words of Forrest Gump. Love you. Be blessed. Valerie Love. Visit me online at ValerieLove.com. Peace. Mwah.